fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today with an unboxing of my kit for Mermaids and Magic. I put out a poll on my Instagram, my Facebook, and my YouTube. So all of you who voted, thank you very much. And I had, the poll was between two different mermaid kits. So I had intended to do Patience and I'll stick a picture over there of that one. And then I, uh, as I was planning, realized I had a second mermaid kit, which was this one. Overwhelmingly, pretty much, on all three platforms, YouTube, Instagram, and my Facebook group, the winner was this kit. So I'm going to be opening this one. Now, I will say, I am still going to be doing Patience, so you will be seeing that one. But today, I'm going to be unboxing this one. And this one is called... Phoebe and Beauregard Sea Tots and it's this cute little picture of this mermaid with her little seahorse friend under the water and it's got like some light streaming really cute and I can't wait to work on it it is a round kit as you can see and yeah we'll just see as we get into it I don't think it says it on here anymore how many a b's and uh, diamonds and things like that you have to get that off the website so let me just tear off the shrink wrap here and then we can get into the box okay and this is a 50 by 70 so it's pretty big I don't think I'll be able to get the whole thing on camera at once but I will post a picture at the end so that you can see what it looks like so let me get the box open here and pull out our tool kit there's our sticker and here's everything else so we have our little sticker here for our logbook, so you can see. This is a kit that I think, hmm, I was gonna say I think it was on my artist series list, but now that I think about it, I don't think it is. I think I had patience on my artist series. But either way, this is an artist that I've not done anything before, so I can add her to my artist series list. Okay, so this is a newer kit. This is a kit that I just bought uh, Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So let's see what we get in the toolkit. Goodness. Okay, so lots of things in the toolkit. You get, oh, things are falling everywhere. You get their new t um, tray with the stopper for your drills. You get baggies. You get a pen with a scrunchie for your pen and a four placer. Love my four placers. The four placer was kind of my sweet spot for multi-placing when I first started doing it. And then we get this lovely little heart container with two plates of heart-shaped wax. Oh, and there's another multi-placer here. So that looks like a seven placer. So two multi-placers. And then we get some very pretty, uh, green washi tape and this cute little cover minder that says love on it so that's what came in our tool kit so let me put all this back in here okay now let's get into the important part the canvas and the drills okay so let me just roll this so that I can make it relax a little bit. I'm already loving the colors. She has such a cute little sweet face. Okay. Roll this up. Let me roll it this way for a little bit. Woof, there's our drills. And then we've got our instructions, which I never use. And then we've got our container stickers here and our uh, larger image. So you can see there a better picture of, they're just so sweet with their little eyes closed. And I love the way her hair is waving. And I really like how these kind of light shafts are coming down from the top. So we have, it's 20 by 28 inches, 50.7 centimeters by 70.6 centimeters. So I'll measure that. 
And then we have all of our drills over here, 60 colors, which is quite a bit. So the kit up will be fun. And it looks like I have four ABs in this kit. Fun, I'm looking at the symbols here just to kind of see. Let me uh, unroll the canvas here and we'll take a look and then we'll look at the drills. And here is our adorable canvas. So like I said, I'm not gonna be able to get all of it on there, but I'll, I'll scroll up and down as we go. So Diamond Art Club, soft lint canvas, scalloped edges. It's nice and sticky where you need it to be. We've got a schematic on both sides. Again, 60 colors, oof, that's a lot. And it is 50 by 70. So let's measure and see. So this way across, it is 50.7, I'll give them that. All right, let me move my drills and things out of the way for just a moment. So I can turn the kit and measure it this way. So 50.7 and this one is, make sure I've got it all flat, by 70.6. So 50 and a half centimeters by 70 and a half centimeters. And oh, just the colors, I can't wait to see what the drills actually look like. I love how the little seahorse looks with its little fins and again her sweet little face. Oh, I guess that's the bangle. Is that a is that a necklace? Where's the let me find the picture again. Let's see. Nope, those are his fins. There's another one over here. Oh, and she's got little fins on her ears. I hadn't realized that. That's super cute. And she also has a belly button. My other mermaid kit that I did, my, my pixie sticks one, I thought that was funny. So you got a little bit of a look at the whole thing. So let me do it this way now. So we've got some kelp seaweed over here. We've got, so looks like some coral over here. We've got those light shafts coming down. Her hair kind of waving in the, the water. And then of course you get her cute little face with her fins on her ears, hugging her little seahorse friend with his fins. This one's draped over her arm, her little mermaid tail, more coral, and then just sea life down here at the bottom. So yeah, super cute. It's a diamond art club, so I don't have to worry about the symbols being clear or anything. It is a round kit, like I said. Let's get into our drills. This is a big bag of drills. Okay. Whew. Let's get all these undone. Okay. So let's start. I'll just grab these since they fell out first. So we've got this kind of dark olive color, olive green. We've got a dark blue, and then we've got two bags of this lighter blue. And then let's look at all of these. Ooh, there's one AB. Look at that gorgeous pink. That's beautiful. And then we get a brown, an orange, a light blue, a pink. Then we get Kind of like a, um, this one's like a caramel color. This one's a bit darker. And then we get a yellow and a very pale yellow. We get a dark pink, a tan, and then a lighter kind of orangey tan. There's a blush pink. Ooh, there's another AB, a yellow this time, a light blue, and two different shades of kind of an orangish tan. This is a darker tan and then this kind of lighter one, almost kind of peachy color. Okay, and then we fold these back up. We get these colors. So we've got a peach. There's our green, yellowish green AB, gorgeous. There's a, a kind of a berry red. 
a darker peach, a mauve, an orange, a gray, a light tan, a brown, a yellow, an olive green, a blue, purple, like a mulberry red, a very dark brown, a dark peach, a purplish blue, or a bluish purple, I guess, however you want to look at it, another dark brown, a green, and then a very pretty coral color. Loving all these so far. And then our last string of drills here, we've got a tan, a green. Is that our last AB, I think, of the four, the white? And then we get a purple, a dark blue, another kind of grayish tan, a very dark blue, a dark red, a very, oh, is that black? Yeah, that's black. A baby blue, a brown, a very dark violet, a purple, kind of a, a brick red, a green, another blue, as expected, lots of blue, a dark blue, kind of a very light turquoise, a dark kind of hunter green, and then a true green. So lots of colors in this one to be expected. 60 colors, that's a lot of colors, but she's gonna be so adorable when she's done. So I can't wait to get started on this one. A big thank you to any of you and all of you who voted. Like I said, I, I'm still planning on doing the patience one, but I probably would have saved this one until later, but now that I have her open, she's so adorable, so I can't wait to see what this one looks like. This will be uh, my kit that I'm doing for, uh, one of them at least, for Mermaids and Magic in March. Don't know if I'll get it done in March, but we'll see. Uh, I've still got a couple of other projects to finish up, but expect to see me kitting this one up soon so that I can be working on it. And again, a big thank you to everybody who participated in the polls. I really appreciate it. That's it for me today, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.